Hey everybody, Jillian here. I have a new Bible journaling process video for you today using the new Revival Camp Devotional Kit from Illustrated Faith. The first one, which has us in the Old Testament, and I'll give you a peek at that um, and some of the supplies that I plan on using with it. So here is the devotional kit. It's this really fun passport um, made to look worn, and I filled in some of my info here. I need to get my photo in, and I've already jumped into Brianna's, and that's where I'm going to be working from today. It's really, really good. So I shared this page a couple days ago over on the Illustrated Faith channel. I'll link it if you want to watch it. Um, but I thought really quick I'd just go through some of the things that I um, pulled that I may have already had in my stash that go um, with this kit. One of those was these really fun Sunny Days die cut alphas from Maggie Holmes. There's some really large um, alphas in here. And let's see, what else did I get that's not included in the kit? This 6x6 paper pad from the Let's Travel collection from Cardabella is really fun. I've already cut into it. Um, there's just some really fun patterns like these beautiful florals and these sunglasses. And this is one of my favorites, this, um, this kind of floral print here. And then I, um, I love stencils. I love using stencils. So I snagged the stencil that um, goes with that patterned paper. This will be fun to use. Maybe I'll use this today. And then the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. And I've used a bit of it already when I was at sister camp. Yeah, so that's what I'm planning on using today. On Monday when I did the video, I cut into the stamp backer. So I may use this piece in another entry just to finish using that up. A couple washi tapes. My friend Kristen gave me this one. She's so sweet. And I thought this one was really fun. The colors are great. This is the grid washi from the uh, Less Hustle More Jesus um, bundle that are coming back to the Illustrated Faith shop. And then this is the um, washi tape from the Revival Camp kit. And then the other, since I haven't done an unboxing, I'll go ahead and share that with you really quick. Included in the kit is the 33-piece ephemera set from Cardabella's Let's Travel line. You get the washi tape I just showed you. Um, this really fun sticker sheet. These replace the um, fabric badges. And this is goes along the top of that. I already separated it. You get the TN sticker sheet and then the, um, the devotional booklet. And I'm going to go ahead and look for some acrylic paints to go ahead and journal this page here in Genesis 6 and then hop back on and get started. Okay, so I grabbed three paint colors from the Target Handmade Modern line and then my Bible mat. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe to wipe these acrylic paints in the margin. I'm going to start with this dark lapis color and then layer on top of that the Robin's Egg Blue. But I had some trouble with this one. I think I'm going to have to throw it out because there's like no moisture in it. It's really clumpy and sticky and um, I think this will be my last time using it. So there were... As a result, some globs of this on the page. But I like how they kind of blend together. I didn't wait for the darker blue to dry before I put this one on there. Then I went in with this blood orange color and immediately regretted it. On the camera, it doesn't look so bad, but in person, I didn't really like how it looked. I will end up using this paint later at the end, but I definitely wanted to, uh, to cover up what I had just put down. So I hit this with my heat tool to help speed up the drying process so that I could put a different color paint on top of it. But before I do that, I want to use this stamp set that will be in the Illustrated Faith shop soon. Um, it's just really fun journal lines and things like that. And um, I'm going to use the grid paper stamp as uh, just a, a layering element with the paint. I used some stays on so that it would dry quickly and wouldn't smear. And then I'm just figuring out where I want to put the pieces that I plan to use. But before I put them down, I'm going to go ahead and get some white acrylic paint on top of all of these orange spots. So this, this paint is so watery. It's not very thick, so I had to put on a lot to cover up all of that orange. My Bible mat to the rescue, because I ended up going off of the edge a lot here. All right, so I kind of used it as whiteout almost, and then there are going to be some things layered on top of it. But I'm going to hit this with my heat tool, 
let it dry, and then go back in with that dark lapis blue color and then the robin's egg again to build up um, those blue layers. Once all of the paint is pretty much dry, I'm going to go in with my tape runner and this die cut piece that says Wander and Find and um, layer that on top of the paint along with this adorable camera from the sticker sheet. And then these, sun these sunglasses were so cute, so I just decided to, to add that to this cluster here. I'm going to trim off what's hanging off of the edge, save those pieces for later if I can use them. And then here I'm looking to see if I can use that stencil and I don't think that's going to make it onto the page today. Maybe next time. So then I start working on the tab cluster up at the top and I want to bring in this orangish pinkish color that's in that wander and find die cut. So I used my tab punch to just um, get this piece of patterned paper punched out and I'll use that as a tab layered with that really pretty floral banner up at the top. I didn't need it to be so long, so I decided to trim it in half and then just have it peeking out from um, on the bottom of that tab. And then I'm going to use this grid washi tape um, to help keep the tab in place. And my hands are so dirty and painty. Paint, painty. <laughs> it's so fun. So fun to get messy, isn't it? I want to know what your favorite thing to get messy with is, though. <laughs> I thought this arrow was really fun pointing to the verses that I wanted to journal so I'm going to layer a couple of these stickers, this little heart, with the arrow but then I'm thinking well there's no paint over here or really anything that it's sitting on top of so I decided to go back in with this grid stamp and just ink um, very lightly the one side of it and I'm going to peel up these stickers, no big deal, stamp the grid down a little bit super messy just how I wanted it and then go ahead and, and put the stickers back on top of it. Next I'm going to take my journaling pen and underline the verses that I'm journaling um, and I am just underlining in chapter 6 verse 9 this is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man blameless among the people of his time and he walked faithfully with God. That's like the whole point of my journaling here. And then down in verse 18, um, after God gives Noah the instruction to build the ark, he says, But I will establish my covenant with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. So in her devotional, Brianna just reiterates the story. She says, When Noah was 500 years old, God asked him to build a boat, a boat that would rival a modern container ship in a land of little rain. A strange request, but Noah knew God. And that's the phrase that I want to pull out here, like the point of my page here. And she goes on later in the devotional. She says, God continues to work through us in all our human limitations when we choose his friendship. And I, I just love that idea, and I really wanted to um, remember it. I used some of the new Bella Boulevard Florence alphabet stickers in white to get that phrase down. And then since it kind of got lost on top of the white acrylic paint, I am using a Zig Writer to go over the paint and outline the letters. These pens are great for writing on top of mixed media because they won't ruin the tips. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it below, but um, it's one of my favorite things to use when I have lots of texture on my pages. All right, so now that that's done, here's where I'm going to bring in that blood orange acrylic paint. I've got a media tool from Dina Wakely, and these are really fun to use for um, like making little art marks and things like that. It's a silicone tool and you can just dip it into paint or whatever you're using and create, in, in my case here, these little dots. Um, and it's great, you don't have to rinse it out like a brush. Since it's silicone, you can just take a baby wipe and wipe any of um, your paint off and it's clean. So I'm going to put these little orange dot clusters around the page just to um, bring some contrast, some contrasting color in. I want to make sure that's dry before I get my journaling down and then I'm just jotting down the, um, the quote from Brianna that says God continues to work through us in all our limitations, our human limitations, I missed that, when we choose his friendship. 
Then one last thing that I'm going to do is um, look to this cardstock sticker sheet and put these three arrows down along the bottom because they just so perfectly bring in most of the colors that I used today. And I'm just realizing now I forgot to use a date stamp to date stamp my page. Whoops. So then I, uh, I use one of the hearts from the Bella Boulevard Alpha stickers to um, just layer up top with my tab. And then I'm looking for a piece of word fetty to go on the tab. And I ended up choosing this black word fetty, which is pretty old, but um, it says friendship. And that's it. So that's going to do it for me. Here's a finished look at my page. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you want to pick up your Revival Camp Devotional Kit, I've got it linked down in the video description below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.